What do you say, gang? It's your old buddy, Wild Card, just checking in with you. I uh, wanted to let everybody know about the good news I got from my oncologist yesterday. Got some good news. Wanted to let everybody know with a short video. And when I say everybody, I need to address the fact that I never expected this channel to take off in the manner that it has. I've got over a thousand subscribers to this channel now. Uh, one of my videos I posted two videos, three videos ago, before I had the reaction to the cancer treatment, has 21,000 views. That just blows me away. I cannot believe that my story would resonate with people to that degree. And, and praise God that it has. It, it certainly has been a blessing to me. There's folks from all over the world, Australia, England, our people are contacting me. And because I never expected this channel to take off in this manner, I haven't been keeping up with replies uh, in the way that I should have with letting this many folks know. When I started this channel, it was just supposed to be a way to keep friends and family informed about where I was going and what I was doing as I got back into over-the-road truck driving. And, and it was also a way to let people who might be new to that industry know what a day in the life of an over-the-road truck driver looked like. But I never expected this channel to take off like this. So I will try to keep in mind that uh, there's over a thousand subscribers now and I will try to be more timely with my uh, replies and keeping up with comments and everything. Hope this is coming through all right. I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. It's a side effect of some of the medicines that I'm taking. But anyway, to the good news from the oncologist. Yes, very good news. He seemed very encouraged about it, so I'm going to be very encouraged too. Basically, what we saw in the CT scans that I had taken Tuesday was a significant decrease in size of uh, a tumor. I had a tumor on my right lung that was last measured 15 millimeters in diameter. That shrunk to 6 millimeters. That's significant. And they also said that the largest tumor on my liver, which was seven and a half centimeters. Yeah, this is a big one. Seven and a half centimeters of a tumor on my liver is not as dense, which means that the, the cancer treatment was positively impacting the tumors that I had. The, they uh, are getting a measurement on that large tumor on the liver to see if that shrunk any. So hopefully I'll, I'll have some more good news to share. But basically what it comes down to is my oncologist was telling me that even though I had a horrible, horrible side effect and reaction and was partially paralyzed by my immunotherapy, the immunotherapy that I did receive, the two rounds of Optivo and Yervoy that I did receive is got my immune system kick-started in the way that it should have, and my body is fighting the cancer. I shared this in another video. They, that's why it's a good sign that my beard turned white instantly, because my immune system, even though I, I had a horrible reaction of paralysis, be, that my body was is, is fighting the cancer. We're going to do more CT scans, he said, in another three months and see what the tumors look like then. Prayerfully, the tumors will shrink or stabilize at least. Uh, I'm praying that they shrink and, and disappear by God's grace. But basically, that's the plan now is uh, a wait and see how much more positive reaction my body will demonstrate to the immunotherapy that I did receive. My oncologist says it's not uncommon for people to see positive effects for a year or more after receiving treatment. So that's what we're praying for. Uh, on the topic of prayer, I, I ask everyone for prayer and uh, I'm not ashamed about that. Some people have emailed me and asking, commenting on that and saying, yes, I'll pray for you. But you know, if you're not a Christian, that won't do you any good. And uh, just for the record, I was born again by God's grace in April of 2004. So I, I am a Christian. I consider myself a follower of Jesus Christ. He is my Lord and Savior. And I 
uh, wanted just to, to get that out in the open. But I also wanted to thank everybody for uh, your donations to my GoFundMe fundraiser effort. I'm not able to work due to the video, uh, not video, sorry, I'm getting a message on my phone as I'm recording this video that the video will cease if I answer this call that's coming in. I'm not answering this call that's coming in. <laughs> I wanted to thank everyone who's a, who has uh, donated to my GoFundMe effort. I haven't been able to work since December due to the uh, not only the, the pain of just the tumors on my liver, the debilitating nature of that, but also now of the, the heavy medication that I'm on for that pain. Uh, so I wanted to thank everybody for that. I am, uh, as someone commented, I uh, forgot your name, sorry, that I should uh, look into getting some disability. And I have, um, you know, we're looking into that. And uh, so thank you for that comment. Any other thing that anybody thinks uh, might be helpful that you want to suggest? Uh, I'm, I'm always open for suggestions. Somebody told me I should write a book. I have a, a, a very atypical story in many regards. I lived a, uh, a, a an unusual life when I was a younger man. I uh, personified the, uh, the uh, rock and roll, punk rock, rebellious image and uh, lived a life in keeping with that very far from the man that I am now. But that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. But so <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. I also play music. I play uh, guitar and bass and stand-up bass as well. Been in a number of bands over the years. So I may throw some music on this page to get uh, your, your feedback on that. You know, I've got a song I wrote recently about my own experience thus far with this, this round of cancer that I've got. So maybe I'll, I'll put that song up here. But that will be a, a, another video. The topic of this video was, again, just to thank everybody for being a part of this channel and subscribing. Hit that subscribe button uh, if, you, if you would care to. And I wanted to thank everybody for their support and encouragement as I go through this. And just to, uh, to let everybody know that I'm still out there, I'm still fighting, I intend to beat this cancer. And with uh, God's grace and your prayers, I will do so. And wanted to let everybody know of the good news that, that my body is fighting against this cancer. The tumors have shrunk significantly, measurably. So we're going to pray for that to continue. And I will keep you guys posted. And once again, thank you for your prayers, your, your good wishes and uh, kind thoughts. And thanks for coming along on the journey.